Sale day mail. And this was uh, this is an order I did last Monday from Unobstructed View. And they're doing their arrow sale. Some titles up to 70% off. Of course, none of the titles I wanted were that much off, but still, any discounts better than no discount. And there's another missing fucking title in this order. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Never fucking fails. And it's one of the steel books too. <clears throat> oh well. It'll come eventually, I'm sure. It's like I had to wait for fucking ever for the Robocop to show up, but it eventually showed up. Alright, so <clears throat> the steel book that did show up. Night of the Demons from Shout Factory. This was on sale as well, so that was cool. As was Life Force, that's the whole reason I even grabbed this steel book is my homie Corey with 13 Knot there was telling me the Life Force steel books were on sale through Shout Factory. And I remembered, Unobstructed recently signed a, a deal with Shout, so I hit that, checked them out, and yeah, they had it. It was listed as in stock, so I ordered it, and no bueno. But there's the disc for Night of the Demons. <clears throat> couple little scratches on it but that ain't UV's fault that's just I'm sure that just comes straight down to Shout Factory shipping <laughs> again another non-arrow but this one sounded way too cool not to get and this is called Sick Girl Of all the synapses I own, they're all pretty decent flicks, so figure can't go wrong. In this movie, I've never even heard of before, but reading the synopsis seeing who's in it seeing the price was only six dollars I had to grab it homesick Bill Mosley was like a traveler with a suitcase full of razor blades so how could I not check that out That looks fucking cool. Now on to the arrows. Up first is Colobos. 
No idea really what I'm in store for, but the covers always caught my attention. And I figured with the with a sale it'd be the perfect time to grab a copy. We got Doom Asylum. No idea again what to expect, but god damn that cover is awesome. I don't remember ordering that one. Oh well. <laughs> this is one that's also been intrigued me um, since it went up for pre order, but I kept forgetting to add it to my cart. But hey, it paid off because I got it on sale. Inferno of Torture. Asian flick with. Uh, Things like the Yakuza keeping women as slaves and torturing them with tattoos and shit and something like that. I don't recall, but it sounded dope as shit. And that cover is awesome. Cool, this one has a book. And alternate artwork. Oh, and apparently Arrow has a video channel on Apple TV. just woken up and got a notice on my phone that package was delivered so I have to quickly get ready to step outside and go get it. Ugh, it's my first damn coffee. Edge of the Axe. This is the one I don't really remember ordering but whatever. Covers kind of shit. <laughs> That's boring. Then again, this cover makes me think of Friday the 13th Part 2 at the end. So, but at least it's better than that green cover. Ugh. Second to last one, the chill factor. This one sounds pretty cool, like another wintertime slasher flick. Exorcist meets the Winter Olympics. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. Yeah, that that old cover sucks too. Not as bad as that other movie, though. And last but not least. I've heard this one's pretty messed up at times, so I'm pretty stoked to check it out. 
We are the flesh. <laughs> hey, I like that cover. That's nice and simple. That cover's dope, too. Alrighty. There's my unobstructed view order minus one fucking movie. To be honest, I was kind of expecting that, but they'll make it right. And until then, I got nine other movies to watch, so Vinegar Syndrome should be shipping soon as well, and that'll be another five movies to add to this pile of to watch titles and by the time I'm through that pile I'll hopefully have the Life Force Steelbook in my hands anyways that's it for this early ass unboxing video thanks for watching folks stay sleazy peace